Hi, welcome to Screencast with Casey. Today we're going to be talking about Class Dojo. Class Dojo is an easy way to engage your students and keep your parents in the know. This is a good way to keep track of their behavior. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign up. To sign up, you can select Teacher. From there, they're going to ask you a couple basic questions. You can fill in your information and your email address. Once you've chosen a password, click Sign Up. If you already have a login, go ahead and click Login and put in your username and password. Now that you're logged in, we're ready to get started. As you can see, here are all of my classes. I have my staff and then my third graders. You can also view archive classes. These are my classes from years before. If I need to create a new class, go ahead and click Add Class. You can pick which picture you like, add a name, and then select your grade. Click Add Class. From here, you can copy and paste from Word if you already have a class list, or Excel, or you can type in your students one by one. After you're done typing in your students, it will give them each an avatar. Here's your monster. If you would like to edit your monster, click on the little side and you'll be able to pick each student's monster. There you are. Once you have your entire class in there, say done adding students. This is where you can invite your parents so that they can see how their child is doing in class. Go ahead and click Next. As it's preparing invitations, it will download here in the corner. Then as you open them, you'll see you'll be able to print these out and individually hand them to each specific student. Here are some directions here for you. And then this is how the parents will join. Up here you can see that it has the student's name. I used test. Then you can click next and send the invitations. You also have the opportunity to click other languages. So now I'm done with the invites. Now you want to customize your behaviors and skills. If you already have another class that you've done this with, you can import it from another class. If not, this is your first time, then go ahead and create your own behavior board. I like to stick with the positives, but you can also do needs work. So maybe my students need help staying in their seats. So I can create a new one, and I can select a picture. I'll select the desk. So I can also give it a point value. I'll leave it at one, but staying in your seat is important for certain times of the day. I can save that and I can also get rid of some or edit the point values. You're going to want to do that for your positives and your needs work. Once you're done, finish and your class is all ready to go. For more screencasts with Casey, visit my teaching blog, Fair Winds Teaching. Here I provide professional development for educators all around the world. Enjoy!